Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here with Edge Elite Knife Review. Got another review for you guys today. Uh, coming at you, 2019. Here we come, guys. Uh, so this one is a cool little minimalist design EDC blade that I picked up off of Blade HQ. Very, inexpe very inexpensive coming in at 17 bucks. I think it's on sale right now. Uh, for 17 bucks, it's the CRKT Leong Ma Journeyer. Nice little EDC blade here, guys. Very nice utilitarian shape. And, uh, you know, like I said, the design is really minimal, but it looks good to me. You got a really nice deep carry pocket clip right there. Let's see if I can get it in there. Yeah. Really nice little deep carry pocket clip. So that's like absolutely zero profile. You put it in your pocket and that thing disappears. And uh, you got all black GFN handles. Feels good. Has a nice texture on it. Uh, you do see there it's a liner lock. And the one thing I think is really cool about it is the um, the pivot on the clip side is Leong Ma's uh, is logo. Uh, so I don't know. I think that looks really cool. You got a 2.75 inch blade here with a cutting edge of 2.50. So you see there's kind of a choil there at the front for you to get some control work. Um, you do have jimping on the spine of the blade and the two uh, scales up towards the front. So it's meant to work. You definitely got some grip there on top. And uh, you can definitely get in some fine work uh, with with those, with those that jimping and that choil. Um, the blade steel is very inexpensive. 8CR 12 MOV steel. Very cheap budget steel. It is a drop point style and it's a partially flat grind. And you got a little swage on top there. Um, it's got like this really nice stone wash on it. Really nicely stone washed. However, 100% this blade for me is going to get copper washed just because the entire, uh, handle and the liners and everything is black. A copper blade on this guy is going to look really nice. So that's definitely what's going to be going on with this guy. Uh, you can check it out on my Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description below to my Instagram for that mod coming later. Um, it's a plain edge, as you can see. Handle length of 3.75 inches. And uh, like I said, GFRN or GFN, glass filled nylon handle. Uh, so it is a tip up, tip up crew. Where you at? Left and right side only. Um, I just can't get my head around carrying tip down. I don't know why. Um, no offense to the tip down guys, but uh, it's just weird. It's weird to me. Why is it weird to me? I don't know. Okay. So here's the two things that I do not like about this knife. For one, it's width. It's pretty, it's pretty wide. It's a pretty wide little guy. Um, and I, I can't remember how wide it was. What was 0.53? I don't remember how wide it is, but let's just say when it's in your pocket and I wear, you know, loose fitting uh, shorts, like I don't wear skin tight stuff. So uh, when I have this thing in my pocket, you know, reaching, because I carry it on my right side, uh, reaching into my pocket, grabbing, you know, stuff, other stuff in my pocket, um, it's wide enough to where it was wearing, you know, there's like red marks on my hand from, from rubbing up against this thing when going into my pocket. And I noticed that after the second, after the second day of carrying it, I carried it for, you know, about a almost close to two weeks. Like I carried this thing for a good minute. And, um, as the, as my, as my, one of my, one of my work blades and yeah, so it was just, you know, wearing on my finger, right? My, my ring finger in my right hand. And that kind of got annoying, kind of really got annoying. Cause it's like, a, it's like a thick little blade. Uh, they could have slimmed it down. I'm pretty sure they could have slimmed it down a lot. That would have made it a lot better. And my second gripe with this guy is the opening style that little that little recessed groove on the blade it's kind of like i don't know i don't like it i wish that they would have just completely made it a hole because you can't even like it'd be cool to spidey flick it you know you can if you really really mess with it um but yeah so what i think i'm going to do is aside from copper washing this blade i'm going to cut that little groove out um then it'll be perfect. I think it'll be perfect uh, opening wise to be able to open it with your fingers uh, as opposed to just your thumb. But um, yeah, so 
So far, uh, just the opening method and the width of the blade are the only two things I really don't like about this knife. I really do like this deep carry pocket clip. It, it's like a zero pro profile uh, when you put it in your pocket. You can see how deep it is. So when that thing's in your pocket, it disappears pretty much. Like you, nobody's gonna see it or notice it. It's a smaller clip and it's dark. It's like a, a dark washed, like a dark acid washed uh, clip that comes with it. So nobody's really gonna notice that thing in your pocket, especially if you wear all black, like I do most of the time, because I'm a weirdo. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I really dig this knife for the most part. Um, it's a definitely, it's definitely a nice little EDC user. Um, and I would recommend picking one up. They're 17 bucks. You can't go wrong with a $17 beater. You know what I mean? Like you just can't go wrong there. Uh, as far as factory edge goes, let me see. It didn't come with a very good factory edge. Matter of fact, I've, I haven't taken it to a stone, but I've, I've, uh, ceramic honed and, and used a leather strop on it a few times. And, uh, it's just the edge CRKT is not known for their factory edges. Let's just put it that way. Um, so let's see. Yeah, it's just, it's, it just doesn't have a good edge on it. I haven't, like, I haven't sharpened it yet, which I will. And I'm sure that'll help it out a lot, duh, obviously. But, um, I think one thing that CRKT can work on for 2019 is their factory edge game. Because there's a lot of companies that kill it with that factory edge game. That's for sure. Um... You know what? And CRKT's got a lot of cool stuff coming up in their lineup, guys. I'm pretty sure you've all seen the Blade HQ 2019 lineup video for CRKT. So there's going to be some really cool knives coming up uh, on the channel from CRKT. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Cool little EDC blade. Nice little user. Nice little work knife. Um, definitely has a little bit of that self-defense element in there, you know, definitely can do some work like that if you need it to super close quarter stuff, last, last ditch effort type thing. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about this knife. It's a cool little knife. Uh, I like it. It's got nice design, nice feel other than it being chunky and rubbing your hand raw a little bit in your pocket. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this knife. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the 2019 lineup and tell me which one out of that Blade HQ uh, lineup video for CRKT, which one do you guys want to see? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that one because when I saw that CRKT got a, got a hold of this specific model from a custom knife maker, I was like, that is 100% I'm getting that the second it drops. Hands down, it's it's coming, guys. Uh, so let me know which one you guys want to see uh, in the comments down below. I really appreciate the interaction. I love talking to you guys about knives. Um, like this video, share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet, guys, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to leave a button down here. And uh, I'm going to leave a video up here for you guys to check out uh, on the channel. And also, I'm going to link in below my Patreon page for you guys to give that a look as well. Help support the channel if you like the channel, um, if you wanna see it grow bigger and better for 2019. I really appreciate it, guys. Like always, thank you for coming, and we'll see you next time.